So we are the, uh, the monks of Dipolan Losali Monastery, which is located in South India. We are here to create the mandala and uh, give it lectures uh, at this college. Here we uh, built kind of a palace of gods or uh, deity, the highest uh, beings. Since this is school, everybody, uh, you know, pursues uh, knowledge. So we create uh, the Manjushri Mandala, which is uh, the Buddha of uh, wisdom, because we believe that the mandala has uh, uh, energy that are blessed by Manjushri himself, which we invited into this mandala and bless this area and uh, inspire people to develop their uh, knowledge and uh, wisdom. The first step is the opening ceremony. We received the permission from local authorities and uh, local uh, spirit that we cannot see, but they occupy the place. We chant and we pray uh, for the higher beings and uh, we request the local spirit uh, to give us uh, the permission to build a mandala and uh, bless uh, this area. Then we can uh, build a mandala on this uh, soil, on this earth. It takes uh, 24 hours it's the, um, and uh, when we complete uh, the mandala and then we're going to destroy it. We uh, collect the uh, scents into um, uh, small plastic bags and uh, give it to the audience as blessings. And then the rest of the scents uh, pour into the uh, ri river because uh, we believe every sense has uh, carries the energy that are blessed by Manjushri himself and uh, spread across the world and touch the environment and uh, uh, and sentient beings and purify their negative influence. The basically, all mandalas are same. You know, uh, kind of uh, our house that you know in general our house. It's the same, right? Basically, they are the same, right? So they has uh, pillars and curtains, and windows, doors, and uh, you know houses. So uh, uh, basically, same, but the different is the symbolism. It depends on the center deities or center god. Mandala means center and the surrounding, so it has center and the surroundings. So the center is the god himself and the, uh, the sound is the environment, you know, the clouds and the gates and the colors, all, this, uh, all those things. The mean four different colors. They symbolize uh, four different elements. White for um, like water and yellow for uh, earth and uh, uh, green for wind and red for fire. Every color, every uh, element uh, represents different uh, mental qualities like vulnerable truths and for mindfulness. You know, our universe is a product of four elements and also our bodies are uh, products of four elements. So there is a connection between our physical body and the universe. So we say everything comes from causes and conditions. So everything is interconnected each other. We built this mandala to inspire people, um, uh, you know, more peaceful, to more connected to your life. It seems that we all uh, gather here to, uh, to seek knowledge, but we sometimes forget our nature of our life, and then we might get in, in trouble, or like uh, we, we might get stressed. Right, because uh, you sometimes we can too much attached to to things that uh, we uh, that belongs to us. Sometimes uh, we put a lot of effort, too much, kind of too much, only for us, because uh, because sometimes it's caused by our ego, the strong ego, right? And then it's it can be negative, and it causes you unhappiness in, inside yourself and it affects you and uh, the people around you. So, uh, you know, the mandala itself uh, is a peaceful tool that make people gather together and to more connect to each other and inspire them, uh, you know, to, to, to seek a good uh, wisdom, which is a realization of uh, reality.
Yes. So we say uh, with your realization of uh, emptiness or uh, the realization of um, reality, you might not get that much stressed because you know the reality and you know the mind.